we've got an awesome let's build today um this is me jim digital adventures we are going to be creating a minecraft map generator it is going to be awesome so one of the great things about minecraft is that it has a world that is generated somewhat randomly uh, uses an algorithm or a pattern to create really cool uh, endless worlds so we're going to do that today first thing I need to show you is inside of my block sprite here I have uh, three colors here uh, that represent the different blocks that we're going to have you can have more if you'd like but this project I'll start with three each one is about the same size or exactly the same size and it's called one's called grass dirt and water first thing I want to try to accomplish is creating a line atop here of one color and to do that I'm gonna use the pen so I need to use uh, grab the pen extension there if you don't have it and let's get started when green flag clicked what are we gonna do um, the first thing I like to do is erase the world you don't have to do this actually you can just kind of draw over it over and over again I'm gonna have it erase each time so it makes more sense and I'm gonna place that block this block sprite at the very top left so that would be minus 240 and 180 which would be the top minus 240 is the most left you can be then I want to create a loop so that it creates a block and moves forward or moves to the right so creating a block is going to be stamping um, I'll explain the repeat until in a second and then we will change X which is moving to the right by five. Now, that should work. But then when I reach the end, unfortunately, we kind of stop. I want to create code so that it will, when it reaches the edge, it'll reset and draw my next line. So that's gonna need an if statement, saying if it reaches the edge here, move back and down and create another line. operators we will need to see if the x position is greater than um, let's do 230 um, 230 that'll mean that's about the edge 240 is the true edge but scratch is a little weird around the edges so you have to kind of uh, do lower numbers uh, if it's greater than 230 what I want to do is teleport that block or set x to minus 240 and then I want to move the Y downward. Change Y by minus 5. That'll move it down 5 pixels. And you will see I have the map being drawn. Maybe 230. Maybe we could do 235. What do you think about that? That'll probably reach the edge better. Let's see if this works. Yeah, that's good. Um, you might want to turn on turbo mode so that it draws it instantly. But it's, it's also kind of cool to watch it go. So why repeat until instead of forever? Because I need to end it once it reaches the bottom. So I'm going to say is if my y position is less than minus 175, uh, then this loop breaks. So we're going to do this loop until the y position of the block is below here, about here. I don't know. I don't know where exactly minus 175 is, but it's near the bottom. And when that happens, we're just going to end the program and the map will finish drawing. You don't even have to really end the program. I don't know. It's really up to you. How do we change the blocks in there? So, one cool thing about Minecraft is it doesn't just pick random blocks and just like place them all over the place in Minecraft, it, it sees where you are. Uh, or the block kind of can see where it is and see the blocks around it and then based on that it chooses um, a block as well as a little bit of randomness um, so like water blocks will be next to water blocks a lot of times because uh, you need to create ponds and oceans and stuff so how do we program that into our project well I'm gonna create three variables I'm gonna create one called water dirt 
and I'm going to create a final one called uh, grass. For all sprites is fine. And these three are going to uh, give us scores pretty much. So every time a block goes to get created, we are going to uh, create a score. And whoever has the highest score is the winning block, and that one will be placed down. And it's going to happen very fast. Um, so let's um, get started with that. I first want to just set them all to zero. That's always just nice. Dark grass and water at the beginning, just set it to zero. When green flag clicked, forever, and if else. So it's either going to be touching a, another blue block or it won't be. Uh, and that's going to be in sensing if touching color. If it is touching a blue block, we are going to tell the game to set my water value, the score for the water, to a random number. We're going to say pick random number 1 to 10. So that's what I'm going to start with. So it could get a score of 1 to 10 if it hits the blue. But if it doesn't, we're going to make it lower. Uh, so 1 to 3 points. So if it's touching blue, it could get 10 points. And that's a pretty high score. And it'll probably be a blue block. But it could also get a 1, uh, be you know a little bit random, and um, not be a blue block. Or water block, I should say. OK, moving on. After done with, I'm done with water, I'm going to try the dirt. I'm just going to duplicate this code here. Instead of touching this color, I have to run this again to try and get the dirt color on there. I'm going to grab dirt there. And I will set my dirt. So if it's touching a dirt block, there's a chance it will get a high score, 1 to 10. But if it's not, it will get a low score. And finally, let's do the grass blocks. Pop it right in here. It's the third one. I'll try and run this so I can get that color there. I will grab my green. I can make this bigger so it's not so hard. So I can do that. Um, grab the green block. And if it's touching green, you will get a possibly high score. Otherwise, a low score. And you'll see these numbers go crazy <laughs> when we uh, when we run it, but they will be affecting what block uh, will be placed. Um, and to do that, we have to make some comparisons. Forever, if, mm -hmm. where's forever? OK. So what we're going to try is uh, is we're going to say if the dirt is the highest number, change it to a dirt block. If it's if grass is the highest number, change it to a grass block. And I like to use two ifs instead of using the and block sometimes because uh, this can get a little bit hard to organize. So it's going to say if the dirt points is higher than the water points, and then also the dirt points is higher than the grass points, it's a dirt block. So we need two greater than blocks. And we're going to grab the dirt. We're going to say if dirt is better than grass, and if dirt is better than water, change, switch to costume dirt. OK, dirt is complete. Now we need two more for uh, what happens if grass is the highest number, and what happens if uh, water. So I'll turn this to grass. I'll move grass over here and over here. <laughs> I'll move water and dirt over here. I did that kind of fast. You can uh, simply go into the variables and grab those out. But now I have uh, my grass is better than water. Grass is better than dirt code block. And lastly, uh, we need water. Water needs to be better than dirt. OK, if water is greater than grass, and if water is greater than dirt, it will be a water block. We're going to switch to water. Let's take a look and see how this goes. I'm, you guys see these numbers go crazy. I'm going to get rid of those so we can see a little better. Go to full screen. 
All right, the map is being generated. As you can see, the blobs of, uh, you know, green and the blobs of the, the dirt blocks and the grass blocks and the water blocks are all kind of uh, sticking together. You can see some rivers being formed and some, an excellent uh, world is being generated. It will go a lot faster if you run this on the web. It'll probably be somewhat instant if you go to scratch.mit.edu when you make your games. Um, the offline one that I'm using right now is a little bit slower in turbo mode. And there we go, there's my world, it's being created. Um, I can admit like there's a nice peninsula here um, with some gra nice grass. It's, here's another one with a nice river here. So you can imagine uh, this would be a really fun map to play on. Uh, and this is, a, you know, how Minecraft kind of, in a way, generates their maps. Now, if you wanted to sort of change how this uh, world would, would look in general, you can adjust these numbers here to kind of create a new biome. So let's say I wanted it to be way less water. What I could do is switch this to 1 to 5 and a 1 to 2 for the water uh, points code. And then we could take a look and you'll notice uh, should be a lot less water. And there you go, there's a biome with a lot less water uh, because I adjusted those numbers for um, how many points it gets. Um, and you can see it, still see it kind of group up a little bit, which is cool. So this was uh, the Minecraft map generating project. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, try it out, remix it, add some more blocks, that would be sweet. Um, and you can check out more of our videos in our Let's Play playlist and check out some of the classes um, at digitaladventures.com. We have tons of great instructors um, and you can learn all sorts of stuff just like this. So uh, thank you very much and bye-bye.